In the early 2000s, a large Colombian coal mine was the stage for a marvelous discovery. Spurred on by the recent uncovering of a fossilized leaf, researchers began their hunt for the remnants of other prehistoric life. Among their findings were the remains of large turtles and crocodilomorphs, but the most impressive of their discoveries was a snake larger than any known previously. Titanoboa could reach a length of nearly 13 meters and weighed upwards of 1100 kilograms. This species was at least 2 meters longer than Gigantophis, the snake previously thought to have been the largest to exist. The remains of approximately 30 Titanoboa individuals have been uncovered, most of which are similarly enormous. This implies that it was not uncommon for Titanoboa to reach this great size. This giant lived during the middle to late Paleocene, around 58 to 60 million years ago. At this time, equatorial South America was covered in a tropical rainforest. The presence of fossils left by aquatic organisms combined with the sedimentary structure of the region's rocks indicates that Titanoboa inhabited a swampy, waterlogged area. Researchers believe that Titanoboa's large proportions forced it to spend most of its time in the water, as movement on land would have been more difficult. It spent much of its day wading among the lush aquatic vegetation for an opportunity to ambush prey. As a result, Titanoboa was likely algal-colored to camouflage itself from its potential prey. This aquatic lifestyle is most similar to modern-day green anacondas, the largest snake alive today and a close relative of Titanoboa. Upon its discovery, Titanoboa's large size led researchers to believe it was an apex predator. They hypothesized that it relied on capturing and constricting large prey such as crocodilomorphs. This theory stems from the behavior of modern-day constrictors like anacondas and pythons, which are known to readily eat large prey. However, a closer look at Titanoboa's skull reveals that its jawbone houses more closely packed teeth than modern boas. These extra teeth may have been an adaptation for catching slippery fish. This feature, among others, suggests that Titanoboa relied more heavily on a fish-based diet than on more sizable prey. Like its modern-day relatives, Titanoboa was a cold-blooded creature whose body temperature relied on that of its habitat. Cold-blooded or ectothermic organisms are only able to grow to large sizes in areas where they can absorb enough heat to maintain a certain metabolic rate. This is why the largest modern reptiles are found towards the tropics. Researchers have therefore reasoned that Titanoboa could only exist in an environment which was, on average, five or more degrees warmer than the modern-day Amazon. This theory, however, is not without criticism. Some scientists believe that the model used to estimate this ancient temperature is flawed and inaccurate. Others hypothesize that the sheer size of Titanoboa would mean that it produced so much metabolic heat of its own that it would overheat if the previously mentioned temperature estimate was correct. For the time being, this debate remains unsolved. Because Titanoboa is a relatively recent discovery, we still have a lot to learn about this exceptionally large Paleocene predator. Nonetheless, what we know already indicates that Titanoboa was nothing short of spectacular. <laughs>